So I bought these fly racing pants because they said they were padded. That and they kind of match my shirt coat. But the padding in the knees, the padding in the hips isn't enough to protect two fleas climbing up my hairy leg to have their first honeymoon. So what's Uncle Zane to do? What's Uncle Zane to do? What's Uncle Zane to do? Here's a sample of uh, the pants I've had over the years. I've had in the boot pants. I've had over the boot pants. I like the over the boot pants because of the pockets and the vents. They have absolutely zero padding. Um, and then we had a little bit of a revolution. Uh, we tried our Duluth Trading Post fire hose flex carpenter pants with the knee pad insert. Uh, this knee pad insert is phenomenal. Um, the pad is thick. It's not going to blast your kneecap when you hit a rock and it does provide pretty good protection. Uh, you put this on over the top of padded skinny shorts, you know, with hip protection and tail, tailbone protection and it's going to give you a whole lot more than uh, those fly race pants that I showed you earlier. Surprisingly, these Duluth pants are incredibly light. Uh, the only uh, pair of pants I had prior to this that weighed less were the fly racing in the boot pants that had hardly any padding at all. I love the weight. I love the price. I love that if I sweat through, it dries right out. I love the flexibility. This may not be the revolution of hard enduro, but I'm telling you, if you're going out for an adventure and you need a lot of pockets and you need a lot of convenience, uh, these are the pants. I love them. Duluth Trading Post, Carpenter Pants, Firehose Flex with the knee insert. They are fat guy friendly.